bring you greetings today from End Time Labor Water Ministries. Uh, I'm excited about what God is doing in this hour of our life. And I thank you for joining us on today. Uh, I believe that the message that God has given us on this day that will be a blessing to your soul. Just continue to listen. I promise you, it will take you somewhere you've never been before. And I believe that, that all things are working together for the good to them that love God, that are called according to the purpose that He'll create us for. I believe that you'll understand that you are that person that God is looking for in this day in Jesus' name. Genesis 1, Genesis 1, we're going to go to 26, 27, what it says. 
Then God said, Let us make man in our image, uh -huh. according to our likeness. Uh -huh. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. And now, and now, and now he's, giving, he's giving us authority. Like we always talk, God has given you authority. God has given you authority. And I keep on repeating this because I want you to give me your spirit that God has given you authority. There is nothing that has been created that has authority over you. Because he gave authority to mankind and not to animal kind. And if you are to link your authority to something, that means that what? You have given them the okay to do what they need to do to you. Am I right? So anytime that you are link your authority to somebody, that when you tell when you don't speak and tell the devil to go where he needs to go, and you allow him to do it, you have to link your your authority to the enemy and talk it's okay to do what you want to do to me. It's all right when you beat me up. Because in the Bible, the word of God said, he said, God, he said, God gave authority over the fish, the airways. The airways mean the spiritual realm. He gave me the authority over everything in the earth. Am I right? Amen. So if he gave me the authority, I'll jump on that. That's going to be the main thought of this message. If he gave me the authority, that means there's nothing in this earth I cannot overcome. Amen. Nothing. Amen. There's nothing that you cannot speak to that is supposed to obey you. It's almost like it's almost like your child, two years old, two years old, talking back to you. She telling you what she gonna do. They may not can talk, but they walking off. They ain't doing what you asked them to do. So what is it? Over the birds of the air. Uh huh. And over the cattle. Over everything, the everything. I'm giving y'all authority. What he told us was, you don't need money to have authority. Go ahead. I'm giving you the authority over the fish seed. What you do with cows? You can feed, you can eat off cows. Yep. He he didn't say money. He said I gave you authority. Authority means that you can go take what's yours at any time you want to. And if you don't go get it, who problem? Who call is that? Yeah. It's just not cars and houses. That's right. You can speak into people's lives. Yes, yes. And tell them that got to go. Yes. I'm gonna have peace in here today. And when you don't speak to it, you allow it to have authority. And so what you're doing, you're taking a back seat to your authority. Come on, what is this? Over all the earth and over every creeping thing. Everything. Over the whole earth. Everything. 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 Your child. Your biggest obstacle are your children. I know y'all would hear that. And I say that because why? Do I think they got authority over the 
missing in the alley, the thing that they should have authority over is attacking them and beating them down because they don't have authority to tell them to stop. But I got a thing that told me if I be who I have called to be, and I can be, I may not be what you want me to be, I may not look like you want me to look, but I'm still anointed and powerful. I do 
I'm poor in my spirit. My sons and daughters will prophesy. I want to use just for something on today. What you won't prophesy, what you won't prophesy, won't Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands form the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God.
God, what I want to happen for you, God gonna make happen for me. I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta tell somebody to tell them. I already received it before you said it. Because, because why? Because why? Just because you did it before your turn, I can speak a word into the atmosphere and tell them they got to cut it off. Do you not know how powerful your words are? Hallelujah. Your words are powerful. He's a promise keeper. I promise you to somebody that don't change their problems because you don't do certain things for them. How many times you don't change what you feel about people because they don't treat you like you thought they should? Right. Mm-hmm. But he's a promise keeper. He's a promise keeper. Whatever God says, it will be. Yes. So what you want to do, you want to prophesy something over somebody's life and say, hey, better days just not just coming. I don't know what you're asking God for, but I want to prophesy. Everything that you're desiring God to do for you in your life, I prophesy that God will bring the pain. We got to learn how to prophesy to each other. Yes. When there's no prophet in the midst, God gave me the throne to prophesy to myself. Oh, yes. Self! 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 I'm already walking to the promise that God called me to walk into. I don't, anytime, well, the chief, you don't like to move. Just because you don't see it moving, don't mean anything happening. Because the other thing that God is doing is happening because why? I prophesy. I give them one time, I promise I will go home church. God today, let this be the best day for the body of Christ. I promise I, whatever they are having struggle in, God, I promise I that you will deliver and heal. That's my prophecy. Because if I keep on prophesying on your behalf, so at least somebody will stop prophesying in my life and tell me what God said. Because why? Because, because if I can do, if I can walk better for you, if I can walk better for you than I walk for myself, I believe that God will honor the prayer that I'm putting out. And so he says, go ahead, what is this? What is this? What is this? The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord. Uh huh. And set me down in the midst of the valley. Uh huh. Zika. What is that? And it was full of bones. Full. A lot of bones. Like church folks. Dead. <laughs> Just like church folks. Dead. Mm-hmm. He sent me out among them. Okay, y'all didn't get it. Yeah. Have, have you been to church? Mm-hmm. Where you been going on? Dead and life dead. Ain't nothing happening about you saying no songs, ain't no spirit going on, and you gonna set me in the midst of this. <laughs> I'm trying to get my shadow on the middle of the court. I can't get a shadow on my water. I don't feel no presence. He set me, allowed me to sit in the midst of a dry place. Yes, yes. It didn't say he was dry, it said I was dry. Yes. Yes. He allowed him to sit in a dry place. Yes. 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 Just because God brings you to a dry place, that don't mean he will walk you through the dry place. It just means that I just want you to see him a dry place sitting over there. I want you to be careful, but I'm going to keep you in the overflow. So he allowed him to do what? Set in what? In the valley. In the valley of the shadow of death that it feels no evil. Because God is with me. A valley is a place that you don't want to be in because there's nothing happening. What is this? Come on, what is this? He told me to have my church was always telling them how to favor and there's no substance. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with your attitude, you nasty with everybody. Y'all know how they go. Because faith without works is what? Yeah. We should be forever producing after our own kind. My, my, my mom was one of the ones, my mom loved people. And my daddy used to have to watch her a whole lot because my mom was very easy going. She was very easy going. She loved people. She found she found no strangers. Everybody she loved folks, she just loved folks. You, you know, some she, she, she loved people. She, kept, she just loved on you. That's how she always did. But the problem with that is that we have to protect her because everybody ain't going to be nice to her. Amen. And it's amazing that 80% of her time, she's in church. And those are the ones I'm nasty to her. Because they have no fruits that are barren. After their own kind. Yes. What the love, the peace, the joy, the long suffering. Everybody want those things but long suffering. Mm-hmm. Everybody want to go do. Everybody want to have blessings on top of blessings. But there are times that God has to test you and see can you handle what He's getting ready to take you to. If you are in a place in your life that you are discomforted right now, I'm talking to somebody that you are at ease. You're not feeling so comfortable. You can feel uncomfortable around people you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, don't even you up in here. If you have a place in your life where you're around people that you love, 
but you feel uncomfortable now. I love it, but I just don't want to be around like this. And if you're at that place, God is trying to do something in your life right now. It's not about the people you're around. It's about what God's trying to bring out of you that's going to be. Because folks have been on your nerves and heartbeat. Oh, yes. And God said, you can't keep on jumping and jogging these people. You know you see me go for stuff? Oh, here they go again. God, here. God, I wish I could. And you're going to allow. Because you won't want to deal with them. And all of a sudden, all y'all ain't let that cash register together. And you won't know to talk to them or just keep them out shaking. They looking at you, you looking at them. And nobody had not said anything. So when they do it, they do a little thing to me and you did. We don't talk, we just. How you doing? We just live out here, you know we're talking to you. But if God got you in an uncomfortable place, that means that He's trying to grow you now. Oh, yes. An uncomfortable place will cause you to sprout out. Because everything that was comfortable, I've never seen a person grow in a comfortable place. Flowers don't grow in a comfortable place. You have to get in a place that God can have to test you. That can test things in you that you didn't know you had. That's good. How do I know I'm growing? Because now I'm getting the spirit thing that I've never experienced before. I've never seen anyone grow to their full of potential in a in an in a comfortable place. And if your place is not comfortable now, keep on letting God grow you. Because if he got you in